No way. This is it right here. This is the. This is it. Yeah, this is the intro right here. Who's this? It's Luke. Oh. This is Luke. Seriously. I mean, that's fine. No, listen. The black rose. Can you help me find my halo? I can't listen to the black rose. I couldn't hear the black rose. If you're really not waiting, it's the black rose. Maybe it's not right there on your pillow. Listen to it, baby. It's the black rose. Your voice in my head telling me to jump every time. I don't care who it is. It's Luke Duncan. <laughs> Here he is, listen. I don't even sound like him, and then he says it's somebody else. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, like, I got this album, and I'll be driving. And, Why like, my love phone so plays all the music on my phone. I'm like, oh, you know? My kids actually know the words. Anyway. I'll be driving, I'll be like, ooh, Black Crow's got a new song on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I like it, man. He, he's good. He's, like, his voice is blues. He's like, doing good. Like, people are starting to look it up now. Yeah, right. It's on iTunes, too. Yeah. 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 So, check it out. Yeah. Mind the camera view? Yeah. Both good. It don't look like it, does it? No. Nah. I, I, I mean, obviously, you I, do I the checked wide it. Deal? You huh? did the wide thing? No, I don't know. No, I just turn it on. What? I just turn it on. I got, I got, I got us all in. Like the chairs are I all in. Know. Did you sit in every one and look at it? Well, obviously, the chairs are going to be in it. If you're in the chair, then it's good. This is why. This is why we don't need to bring them along half the time. <laughs> half the time. <laughs> and look. Uh, I'm only half the time at halftime. You're only half the... Boy, this is the halftime show. It is. Welcome to the... It is the halftime show. Bass Anger Therapy halftime show. Yeah. We're in halftime of the Natty. You know? Oh, my gosh. Does anyone want to talk about their day? I do. Let him go first. Do it. Are we going to... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so I started... I don't, I don't know if I told you, Coleman. No, I don't I, I started on a... Uh, where you saw me yesterday. You started there again. I started there again. Because I was like, maybe it was a fluke. And it was. I wondered. <laughs> but, you know, I just figured I, I had missed to know. something. I had to know. I needed to know if it was a fluke or not. So I rolled through that whole area. Now, I got on one little stretch, a couple of reefs. I will say that yesterday when we were in there, like when you got bit, dude, the water in there was like a funky color. But it's on the north end where that wind had been rolling yeah. in on it for a couple of days. And I thought, man, this thing may get better as, as it clears up. And it didn't clear up, though. I'm still just a weird color. So I get those three bites, and I'm like, well, you know, whatever. I think I went another four hours until I got another bite. Really? And then I went another two hours, and then I went until dark, so and then got, finally got four more. So you got bit? Yeah, I got bit. Until about my day. Go ahead. All right, so that's you it. You can tell both our days. Well, yeah, I, just told, I just told my day, so... <laughs> wasn't that bad wasn't that bad it wasn't that good no I, I did start out there with a, where where you keep telling me it's going to be one at oh they're <laughs> going to catch them in Toho dude I would man I'd love to see someone make a top 12 out of Toho they will they're going to make a top 12 out of Toho so maybe will. not maybe not no they're going to make a top 12 even on the off they grass they want who they no. being the people that qualify and finish in the top 12. Dude, unless that guy gets on that one spot where that guy throws them shiners out there and catches them out of one spot in a freaking 14-acre grass field. It's, it's 14. It's bigger than 14 acres. I was say, oh, yeah, it's about, no, about 140 that. acres. 140 acres. acres. Actually, in I, one I'm going to say the person that makes the cut out of Toho does not catch them offshore. I actually say the person that makes the cut out of Toho catches them flipping. I told him the only way I think I can get a, a five bites in Toho is to flip. So my backup, I spent three days in Toho, right? And you know me, I'm like fish, fish, crank, offshore grass, blah, blah, blah. You know what my default always is. Flip. And uh, I flipped one big one. But, um, and I punched, and I, I light flip too, like, you know, lighter cover and stuff. But and you can get some bites, but they're not, they're not big enough, man. They all feel a little. 
Very little. No, I mean, I agree. I to agree. make a top 12. Yeah. I can catch. So, I, I do think with as much grass that's out there in the middle of that lake, and as bad as we all think it's fishing, I think still there's three to four to maybe even six out of 12 to make the top mm-hmm. 12 mm-hmm. out of that grass. Maybe. There's too much hydrilla. I mean, I agree, but, like, it's just... Like, Wait, what'd you just say? Three to six guys make the top 12. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Man, I'll make that. What? I'm telling you, there's too much hydrilla out there. That. Exactly. There's too much hydrilla, and no one's caught a fish out of it in three days. Well, we haven't, but no somebody one, has. No there's been enough of there. us that... I went out there, like, for, like... Five hours and had two bites. There is no one out there getting it. Like no. And then one. I went and rehit the same place that I had the two bites and never had another bite on it. Yeah. It's freaking terrible. I spent. Uh, it is terrible. I spent probably four to five hours, six hours out there total. I've yet to have a bite. I probably got twenty four hours out, out there over the last week and it, it sucks. Like I had one spot that I caught two fish off of, and one spot about two hundred yards from it I caught a four pounder off of, and. I haven't been back, but you were all over I got that. You were all over it this morning. I got, that, I got that half bite, and then I've had three almost, where I think I got, like, I, I should have almost gotten a bite. Yeah. That's bad. Because I was like, oh, this looks too good, and I almost got bit there, but I didn't. Yeah. So I, I don't know how this thing goes down. Um, Todd and I both went and kind of split up Toho today in some form or fashion you know like we were on the phone I together. thought it was pretty good he basically took one half and I took the other half and our game plan was was to go sight fish all day and um, between the two of us man we covered a lot of that pond and we saw very very little activity like the beds and stuff there are some places that has got some beds I mean there's no doubt but you, you, you have places there's no fish on I think the tilapia beds like there's oh, nothing that, on them. I can catch now listen I could make a top 12 if they let me uh, weigh in tilapia. Some bunch of them. Big ones, yes. I like some Big of the beds ones. we're seeing with nothing on them tilapia. There are 100% all of them, like, or, or most of those ones. And I usually can tell, like, how bright they are and how mm-hmm. perfect. Like, if y'all don't know, a tilapia bed will be perfectly circular. Like, yep. perfect. It's like a moon. And it'll and, have, and, a, and have it'll, a crater it'll in it. It'll have a crater in. And mm-hmm. if you start seeing that. And I got in one section today, like, I, I literally saw about 30 of them. And they were in Every little arrowhead, little piece of hay, it was per, and like literally, I, I caught him, <laughs> I caught him up because I was like, oh my gosh, and I see one way over there, and I, I throw my worm over there, <laughs> and I bring it into that thing, it goes thump, and just start swimming to the boat. I'm like, I found him, like because that was a like I didn't know yeah. they were tilapia yet, and I was like, I found him, and it that was a bass. It just so happened that was I threw on the one bass that happened to be on a bed, and then all the rest of them were tilapia beds. So That's it was just funny that we went side fishing today, and then Andrew stayed in Kissimmee, and it was it was bad for him too. I mean, like Kissimmee was not on fire yesterday, but we all had a couple of bites that was when you've been having nothing, and then you go to getting a few bites. We all thought it was getting better, which is part of the reason why Todd and I went to Toho. Was to- Here's the craziest thing, and I'm from Texas, and and pretty much 95 percent of everyone that if you if, you know the 14 people that watch this will be like. Everyone knows, man. When the hit, water hit, hits 60 degree where you're from, yeah, dude, that's when they start to spawn. Absolutely. Water's 72 degrees. Yeah, but it's, it started way lower than that. So, like, it's climbed. Since I've been here in right. three days, it's been it's 68 is when I got here. So, it's been 68, which means it's been in the 60s for at least yeah. eight to nine, ten yeah. days. And, like, these fish don't care. You won't see one cruising. You won't see one sunning. You won't mm-hmm. see activity. It is like the dead, like three foot of water and less in Toho is like the Dead Sea. There was yeah. no fish up there. And it's yeah. the craziest thing. And it's thing. not just bass. Like, there are hardly any brim, yeah. perch, bluegill. I mean, there is hardly Unless any Unless you go to like there. the very back, the very back of something. When, and I mean, I don't even think those are, those are like pond stuff. Like, right. like fish that probably don't ever leave that canal. You know, they've lived there their I whole life. I thought that today. I was like, I bet those fish are the ones that live in that canal. Yeah, it's the they, one that's they, warmed up and they've just kind yeah, of Yeah, they just sit there. It's crazy. I mean, it's it's just, it's amazing to to, to go to a place that, that's like this. That's just, that it, it defies all this. And the full moon, let, let me tell you something, man. I don't care. I'll, I'll go I'll go bad against anyone. I'll tell them, the full moon is 
Full moon is freaking the biggest wives tail I've ever heard in fishing. I'm just I'm telling you. We've got all the conditions here. It's been cold, it's warmed up, the water's warmed up, it's still continuing to warm. We've got a full moon right now and there is no push. There's zero, zero push. And <laughs> I told, I said, so like, we've been kind of joking around, it's January. Like fit, January on every lake, man, it's just like, it's just not good, right? I mean, everything can set up right in this January. Like fish just don't bite as good like they know. And I keep on like, they, they just know it's January and they just, they're not gonna push. And he goes, and I was like, you know, they're just, it doesn't matter about all that, how warm it is. And he goes, I was like, they, they've probably never even done this. He goes, uh, Dean Rojas caught his 45 pounds in January. I said, okay, I'll just, I won't talk anymore. <laughs> Oh, I'll be quiet. I was like, because I mean, I was like, well, I'm not going to call him out. I don't know when he did, but dang it. Yeah. That makes zero sense now. I yeah. mean, trying to figure this stuff out makes, and then we all, see, the deal was is, is we all talk enough and we were on, on Kissimmee yesterday and uh, we all got bit up yesterday, especially in the afternoon. We did. So we get home and we make like our, our game plan, man. And like and everybody's like, thinking the next two days of practice are going to be pushed, like, we're going to they, find and they're pushing. They pushed up yesterday evening. They did. That's all we could think of. Like, they all pushed. They all pushed. And Kissimmee. So it's like. And you then and I went to Toho to go find them. Yeah. And then Andrew's like, it's horrible over here. I'm like, no, whatever, man. And I mean. I talked to like three guys over there that had like four or five bites all day. That's that's crazy. I mean, like, it was not good. Like, it was. It makes no zero sense. January. Zero sense. January. So every time I go fishing in January, that's what it's going to be. I don't know. Like. We did, what's it, an east wind today that we had? Uh, we had like zero wind just about where we were at. Really? See, we had a lot of wind where we were. Really? Yeah. We didn't have like three mile an hour wind, maybe. It was the lightest day by far. Yeah, big time. Oh, yeah. We definitely, we, it was like 10 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour wind on Kissimmee. Really? Mm-hmm. And it was like an, a true east wind. Like it was, and I don't know if that really jacked, and like that's another, like does that really matter? God, like, tell, we didn't have another excuse. Yeah. If you don't know, fish bite the least when the wind's out of the east. Fish bite the best when the wind's out of the west. And so, which makes no sense because if you get in certain parts of the country, you got prevailing southeast winds, prevailing west winds. I mean, it's all that's yeah, whatever. Yeah. Here, it's definitely a prevailing southeast wind. We got we got we got usually mm-hmm. Livingston's mainly a southeast, but on Rayburn, it's mainly a uh, it can go southeast or southwest. It's really yeah. south. But I don't know if that matters. Like, I just know they didn't bite. Like, just bought her. You know, and and like what you're saying, you know, like, they bit pretty good yesterday. We all felt like they were making a move. We thought it was going to get better and better. And and then then today happened. Just when everybody thought it was going to be, like, phenomenal and, like, you could go flip or casting where you wanted to and get a bite. Then it's like, eh, we decided we're just not going to bite now. Like, no big deal. Like, we're out. We're just going to go. Reality set back in. We're gonna swim back to the middle of the lake or whatever they do. I would like to watch this video again. So let's let's talk about predictions. Because last, like yesterday, we all were thinking that the potential was there to be slugfest, and now we're all like, not. Um, this thing continues to warm. It's it's going to warm every day. Uh, we still got another day of practice, and then we got three days in an event, and it is warming. I mean, like the first cold front coming is outside of the boundary of this whole event. We'll be headed home. Where does this thing go from here? How is this thing won? What are we gonna see? We're gonna see an offshore guy like Buddy Gross last year at Offshore Hydrilla. We're gonna see Offshore Hydrilla in Kissimmee. Are we gonna see where the push actually happened and it's a pad deal like JT Kenny and he just knows the pads to go to? Is it gonna be a Bobby Lane sitting on pads with his worm? I don't know, I think, you know, the, the issue is, is A, you have a field that would rival any elite series, any it's best pro field. tour. No I it, mean, it's there's serious. no doubt. We so talked about this today. You've got some of the best of the best in this field. Like, I mean, you could even put this field against anything we had on there's, tour there's last year. Yeah, there's 225 uh, guys in this field. We talked about this morning. There's 225 guys in this field, but the top 100 out of this group is is strong. Yeah, no so, doubt. I mean, it, it's basically fishing a, a big event. So, I mean, they're going to catch them. A, that's going to happen. Yep. Like, you got to know they're going to catch them, and the weights are going to go up because yep. that's just what happens. Yep. Um, the only thing that's going to screw with things, I think, is going to be fishing pressure, and it's fishing kind of smaller right now. I think it's even fishing smaller with this situation. It is fishing smaller. And 200-something people. And 200-something. Not, so, not the pressure, the lock 
and just yeah. just I mean, the just amount of people of that's gonna it, that that could really because if we have to go, we all have to. Buy it. We're gonna have to fish in to- We're gonna have. We don't have to fish. We can just hang out in Toho. But we're, you're gonna have to spend some time in Toho, either waiting on that lock one way or the other, and that's gonna. <laughs> well, my prediction is a is, waste of time. My prediction is is that it's one on offshore grass, but it's done a Kissimmee on pre-spawn staging fish. That's how I think this thing's gonna be one on an outside grass line. The fish that didn't push that we're sitting here talking about. Not like outside the hay, but like just. I, Outside I, of the high like drills, three, three four, to four foot, yeah, yeah, three okay, to five okay. foot deep. Yeah, I, I go with you on that. I agree. That's where I think it's. Winning. I agree. See, I think it's. I think it's going to be a guy that that actually has a combination of a couple of different things going. Because I don't think in this in this tournament you can just win off one thing. I think you can. I think but, that hydrilla deals. Well, the hydrilla deals good, and don't get me wrong. Like I've had bites in it, but I like, don't think it's that good. I think it's good somewhere though. Well, somewhere somebody's getting the right bites. Someone's get, someone's got them. Well, think of it like this, you know, a guy like Bobby Lane. We'll just use him as an example. Bobby Lane goes and cracks thirty pounds off a, a set of pads, and then the next day he goes and throws a swim jig up shallow and catches another eighteen, and then the next day he goes out and fishes high drill and catches another fifteen. I think you're going to see a guy that has to adapt because could one be. thing could fail and then he goes to something else. I just don't. It's hard for Someone's me to believe. Someone's going to catch 30? Yeah. There 30. will be one 30-pound bag. 30. 30. Okay. I don't know who it's going to be, but there How will be one. How many 30-pound bags when we were here? One. John Cox. I'm going to start looking count. at it. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. Always counts. You're doesn't matter. Fishing. Doesn't matter. The year before. Okay, 2018. No, 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 no. no I didn't say no. I said last year. Yeah. Last year it was good. Well, 30 can happen if what I'm talking about happens because last the, guy year was sitting good. The, the guy sitting in the staging area with the pre-spawners on the, on the grass, if that big giant group of fish that we know hasn't come to the bank yet, right, maybe they're not even to the hydrilla yet and this pushes them to that stage and then they're stacked up right there. He can I, I'll be honest. The 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 one thing that I think you're gonna see struggle is rarely, rarely on these two lakes do you see thirty pound bags get caught out of the hydrilla. Really? Rarely. They're either caught flipping pads or sight fishing. Good point. Sight so fishing's gone. And the pad bite is on. My point being about but, the 30... But, but the 30. answer this question for me. How can the pad bite be so good that you catch 30 pounds? Because they're doing the same thing as the fish that's that you're kinda looking what, at. That's kind of what I wanted to say. So how, how can they... They got to go on at the same time, in yeah, my opinion. Because well, the yeah. pad fish are spawners. So so basically, like, the, the pad bite isn't going on at Toho. And that would be where you would actually be sight fishing those fish. On Kissimmee, though, those fish are going to be spawning three four foot of water on pads that you can't physically see. So they're going to spawn, they're spawning deeper. And I, I think part of it is you think relation. they're spawning? 100%. I oh, don't believe they're spawning. I, don't, I just don't think we're there yet. And even if they're stagers, they're going to be even bigger. Like, they stage on those pads. That's how JT won. They weren't spawning that year that JT won. Not very good, at least. And, because I fished that tournament, and he caught 30 pounds or whatever it was. He caught the same fish that he shook off from like two, three, I mean, even two weeks before. That's what I'm saying. He felt like they were spawners. They're, and when they get on those, well, some of them, they weren't, but they were actual staging fish. Because there's there's pads that they stage on, there's pads that they spawn on. And they might be like 50 yards away from each other. But there's there's both. And, and I found places where they're spawning, and I found some that I feel like they're staging on. And, and I think it's both going on, and I do believe that is getting better. Okay. You're going to find yeah. I, I'll change gears on you. This this is something I, we hit up on this the other day, and I can't wait to hear Holman on this. Two-part deal. Two-part deal. One, if your co-angler gets in your boat, now we might not use this as an example, but we'll, 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 we'll get you on grand. Okay. okay. Kongler gets in your boat with the GoPro on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. One, first off, <laughs> how's that conversation going to go? And then two, and this is kind of a weird deal, and only because we, I'm thinking of one Kongler in particular. Okay. Why, what is the deal with that Kongler and YouTube? 
and being able to have blow up his YouTube with like a ridiculous amount of subscribers on something that I don't get a lot of YouTube stuff, but I really don't get his YouTube. Like, I don't understand how right. a guy I'm can do you. that and give total misinformation, total everything. Right. And, like, people are watching it. Go. Because I cannot <laughs> wait. Two-part deal. Which one do you want to tackle first? Well, it is a two-part deal. Because, like you said, I mean, if I drew an individual that I was aware of, who they were and what, how they were misinforming the general public. So you're going to go that route first? Well, it kind of mixed them there a little it, bit. It, it, uh, obviously, you get in my boat. I don't care where I am, even at home. I mean, if you want to bring a camera, come on. I don't have a problem with that. I don't. What? Come on. Oh, I'll take you. I don't care. It's fine with me. Um, there may be a couple of fish catches throughout the day. A couple. There won't be many, but there may be a couple where I say, hey, man, you know, I would really prefer you didn't use this right here. A couple. Out of the entire day. Um, How do you know he's going to do it? I don't. But that would be the end of it. After that, like if he if he Then what? He's gone. I understand he's gone. But the problem is, is this is a small world, and I live in Oklahoma, and I know, you know, a lot of people just like, he may know a couple people, but dude, you'll be burned like, that's terrible to do that. Like, to sell someone you can't you too? On no, your boat? No. I just said there would be a couple of fish catches is all I said that I wouldn't want included. That's right. It. That's it. Now the entire day. Is that too much to ask? No, I'm saying I would be an interested. We wouldn't let him wear one at all. I'll let him wear one. I don't care. Most of the stuff is like whatever. I mean, so I'll give you an example beyond the fish catching aspect of things. Okay. We've all been on the water. We've had... We'll just, I'll just use an example. Uh, you break off a big one at the boat and say a couple choice words. Oh, but see, y'all are going the other angle. Oh, I didn't say that. No, no. Mine, mine was strictly on, on... No, what I mean by a different angle is, is y'all are saying a quote, quote, professional YouTuber gets in my boat. No. And I'm, I've already seen what kind of material he uses. No, I'm, I'm, saying, no, I'm saying... I'm I saying... I'm saying... I'm saying... I'm saying... Joe Blow over there. You want to run a camera? Pay the entry fee? Bring your boat? Get in it? Go That's what I'm you saying. Want, run yeah, your own camera. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm saying... The, I'm in with that. Right. I'm yeah. saying the co-angler, Joe Blow, you draw him and he wears his Go, uh, GoPro thing all day long while you fish. Yeah, no. I ain't, I ain't in for all that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I thought that what you were saying. I was so no. confused. Uh, I, I was confused too because now I see the angle y'all are going with this. No, I mean, right? because no like, way, right? Because you no can't, way. You can't no filter way. what they put on there. Yeah, like, right. Like, I can't. Like, like, no, no. We can, we can I don't know what's going to happen during the day. Right. Nothing. Nothing. No, you're out. And there might be something that you don't so, even know So, happens. what do you say right off the bat? Like, what if he's like rigging up that morning? You ain't wearing a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> not with me or not. I've got one up here. If we need it, I've got control of it. I mean, I just saw that the other day. Like, well, there's a, there's a, uh, yeah, I didn't know where we were going with this. I mean, at first I was thinking, yeah, I mean, because I mean, I'm always, you know, a couple fish catches. Like, we've talked about, about, heard about but, like, I have something at Grand. I have it, but, but, but that's probably where I got to thinking that in that mindset. But truthfully, honestly, like, no, this is not, no, 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 like, they're like, so, like, like it's not even just the fishes or the spots I'm fishing, no, it's, like, everything. it's the whole day, yeah. yeah, it's the whole thing. Like, you can't, yeah. you can't, like, I. There's a like I don't turn my back grass off. You know how guys are always turning back grass yeah. off. No, I, I don't do any of that. Yeah. I leave all my stuff Grand, on. Like Grand, I haven't posted Grand's Costa. Probably not. I'm probably not. And I got two. I got two tournaments from Rayburn that I still have. One's from July. Yeah, I, you're back to the fish catching aspect. Like what the I mean. whole thing because right, like because I've but got even, stuff too. I don't. And, and I'm not gonna lie. It. Even on my stuff, like like I'll watch. I'll watch a fish catch and go. I probably can't use that, or I can cut up. Like there's certain things that that I, I want to show as much stuff as possible. Yeah, dude, you're not getting in my boat with GoPro. I mean, I want the more. I'm, I think about it. Hell no, no. Like I'm tr like I'm trying. Uh, uh, I'm trying to help. Every, like I'm trying to show as much stuff as possible. I I really am. Like we try. Like that's what I'm trying to do. Right. But there's got to be a limit somewhere where it's like okay. Yeah, because, because some things are personal. Yeah. Like, like seriously. You worked really like, hard. Like for instance, you could have like and I. You could have told a story, yep. and you don't even know he's filming. Yeah, yep. yeah. And and he posts that on the internet, and yep. and, and yeah. in a negative way. 
Yep. It's not even a negative. No. He just has no clue. Yeah. He has no, yeah, no but idea. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, he could put a, such a negative a vibe towards you. Yep. That, and, and, and there's a couple guys out yeah. there doing this kind of stuff right now. Yeah, I've absolutely. seen this. And and that's, that's what we're talking about is that, that – so that was the two-part deals. One I would like to see because I'm surprised that hasn't been brought up because – and may, maybe people don't look at it that way, but that guy, there's no way. We should have started this video with this subject, actually. Not anything. No, no, because it's good. Trust me. I already got it. Okay. So, it, it um, I, I, because all it came to me, he got, I said, oh, we're going to talk about this uh, for your therapy session. <laughs> because he was like, I want to, I mean, he went, he went, he went to a hundred like that. <laughs> How in the world do these guys Freaking put this stuff up on YouTube. Well, it, it's misinformation. Yeah, There's it, it guys drives out there them crazy. That are doing it like you can and, hear. And they're co anglers. And, dude, I just spent the night with Brian New, one of the most award winning co anglers of all time. Like, Phenomenal. has it down. And there's these guys making videos, and they are discouraging people to fish as co anglers. Like, it is not a battle to get in a boat with one of us, dude. It is easy. It's easy, like, it, like, and, and just and, and it a is, disclaimer: it, it, there's, there's, there's some. Raise your hand bad. if your coiner has won with uh, the back of the. I mean, a bunch, a bunch. Of like there's bed fish. I've got more than I can catch right there. Yeah. I can't see it. Let me get you closer. It's right here. Take my rod. It won't eat my I bait. Mean, Throw mine. And I'm, I'm sure every coiner that's ever fished with us goes like that was a horrible draw one time, and it might have it might have been because. It, it could have been a bad day. It could, it could have been, been a bad day. Anything. We could have yeah. been doing like there's certain times and there's certain lakes that when we go to a certain lake, you know, that that it's going to be hard for those guys to. We, need, we, need to, we, we know need to, that. That's what we need to do. We need to get new one night. That's what we need to do. News fishing all these. Yeah. We need to get new over here. We need to do a co angler. What should and what shouldn't be. New hates this camera. Doesn't want anything about it. Y'all love seeing him, and and he can lay it out, dude. It is inspiring not negative to hear him talk about how he approaches the back of the boat and guys he is aggressive as they come but he understands the 180 he understands when the boat shuts down he is making a cast for his pros even make one every single time and when troll when the, when the pros pull and troll motor up he's probably still reeling his stuff in but you will not see him by the time he may be sitting in his seat and the boat going on pad and he's finishing bringing his bait in. But it, he does everything in the right way. Yeah. Like, and no one's know, ever been upset with I, him. I drew him at and Beaver he Lake. And flat out yeah, pick your he butt. catch him. And, yeah. you know, the thing is, though, is he understands. The one cool thing about it, that, and, I, and I'll let him tell his whole story whenever he comes on, but the one cool thing that he told me in the back of my boat was, I was like, man, you know, we're doing this and that, like, How'd you do yesterday? Who'd you draw? And he was like, oh, I drew this guy. We were doing that. And I was like, oh, man, that kind of, you know, that's got to suck. That wasn't what was going on. Right. And uh, he's like, oh, man, I don't care. You he said, care. what I what I do every day, I approach every day as a new lake, new day, clear your mind, and I'm going to approach the situation, whatever I got to do. So if I'm flipping pads, I'm going to go figure out how to catch them that day and not worry about what I practice, not worry about... I'm going to figure out exactly what this guy's doing, and I'm going to figure out a way to catch him behind him. Yep. The, the, the calling with it scares the, the heck out of me when he gets in his in my boat. It doesn't scare me, but I'm just telling When a guy gets in the boat, and I shut down for the first time, and I get whatever I'm about to throw, and the guy, the calling there just puts it down there, gets his rod, turns around, and starts firing, I'm like, that guy's going to catch him. Yep. The minute that guy turns around and never even looks to see what I'm doing, that guy catches them. The guy that's like looks around, sees that's what, what I, you're that's doing. What I, that's what I mean and by the 180. Yeah. So like because it like is the amazing. Guy, motor pro, whatever you want to call them, the motor non motor, whatever you want to call them. The 180 is basically you know a circle around that boat. You draw a line down it, and 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 motors are always concerned with the front 180. I mean that's just how they fish, and it comes natural that way. But the back of the boat becomes different. And, you know, it's a different competition. You're not competing against other pros. So like, your weight doesn't have to equal, but therefore most winning co-angler weights are somewhere in the top 10, 10th place or something of the boater side. Sometimes not. I mean, that that, that line jumps yeah, up and down depending on, on yeah. what's going on um, with style of fishing that's around. But new would be a great – we need to get new on here because, I mean, yeah, it dude, just... it, it, it's a positive influence. I mean, I would never want anyone to think that fishing is a co-angler – Dude, it's an advantage. I mean, you learn so much. 
Um, you can't take a guide trip. It's 500 bucks to go on a guide trip with anybody just fishing for the day. And a lot of those guys... You can guys, get these BFLs for $75 and, a, and ride with somebody, then you're complaining. And a lot of those guys want, want to do that. Like, a lot of those guys, like, they'll tell you, like, hey, this is like a... This, this is like a good guide trip. I'll learn more for this. And, and, and granted, and they can still win. Like, they can still win stuff. But, I mean, it's great. Like I said, man, it's 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 one of those deals where, man, co-anglers, and we've had them all, man. We've had a lot of different ones, you know, over the years. But, I mean, it, it's always. Hundreds. But, like, when you, when you get that one, man, you'll get those ones every once in a while that you're like, this guy, this guy's just going to catch them because he does everything. He does everything his way. When they do it their way, they almost always catch them. And I also want to say, like, you know, not there's, you know, there's pros out there that give other pros a bad name. They're voters. You know, there's like one percent of guys that are terrible draws. And I'm not saying because they're bad fishermen, they might just have a bad. Hey, it day. goes the same way with us. Yeah. I mean, we get oh. it too. I mean, we like all, I said, we've I, had I, hundreds, I, and we can tell within the first twenty minutes yeah. how that day is going to go. I think. Too. I but, think. But is anything? Do I ever say anything? I, can't I think there's shit. worse. I think there's by far worse boater draws than there are coing their draws. Yeah. Hands down. I would agree with that. Hands yeah. down. Yeah. I don't even think it's close. I, I think. And it, it is. It's especially worse at like at a BFL level. I, th- I think you it's have. It's really a, bad at a coast open. I think you have a better bit. shot of drawing a bad boater than you do a bad coing there. I agree with that. Hundred percent. Because yeah. Yeah. because one you got the jerk boater. Yep. Right. That's right. just a jerk. Then you got the guy that doesn't the boater that doesn't know what he's doing. Right. And so now you're a guy who's then you gets get the out combination there. of the guy that doesn't know what he's doing and he's a jerk. And he's a jerk, and, and so I mean, so I mean, I'd rather take the jerk that was at least around some fish. But I mean, you got you got to draw the guy that with. That's a great point. And, and, and they don't want to not necessarily listen, but you're like, well, you know, I just drove down here, I didn't practice, and and you're like, as a calling I'd be like, so you didn't practice, you didn't you didn't do anything that you were supposed to do to try to prepare for this event. And now I drew like, I had to draw you. But I mean. I like news advantage. I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but not when that guy's going to, like, oh, we're just going to go out here and toho and fish. And you're like, man, I've fished toho in the pads for, like, five days out of how to fish. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, you know, this is what I like to do. I get that. Yeah, but news true approach is saying, you know what, I fish those pads, I'm going to throw the complete opposite direction. I'm going to figure out another way to catch yeah, them. Yeah, and he's going to zero And he's super that. positive, though. Like, I mean, new just would what not, it is. New would not zero. I'm just, well, I'm, new would come in with five, even he, on toho. He's, thrift protege or know. protege or whatever know. like he's gonna freaking catch him he's gonna throw out there and chill out and freaking like oh i got one. Oh man <laughs> with all this hype on new i do have to throw this out here he did call me at 11 o'clock this morning and tell me he caught like three bass in the last two days <laughs> that means he's probably gonna win this son of a win, gun yeah got that 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 when <laughs> we were sitting there, he's like, "Have you watched this YouTube thing?" And I'm like, they, it's just, "I mean, he just went, God, Holman was going off on this thing." And I was like, "Oh, so here, <laughs> y'all need to comment on this. <laughs> this is gonna be." So we were throwing around ideas about about doing this type of show and what we might like involve with it and everything. And so there's a. Uh, there's a deal on YouTube where, and, and I love Bill Burr, the comedian. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it where, like, they do videos? By the way, when I was driving down here, after you said that, I YouTube you Bill YouTube, Burr. You oh, like yeah. It? I listened okay, to okay. like five right. hours. Yeah, he's, like, phenomenal, right? And uh, But they'll have these people that watch Bill Burr comedy sketches for the first time. Mm-hmm. And, like, and and they watch him and stuff. And... And it's just hilarious because they film. I gotta pee. They film themselves watching that deal as it's going like the picture in picture deal. And I was going, how do we do this, Holman? Where we we they film us watching. We'll just randomly select fishing YouTube stuff and watch it, right? And I was like, can we get away with this? Because we can't, right? We can't get away with doing this. We will get absolutely killed. Yeah. On comments and everything else, because it's not that we'll be making fun of them. It's just because we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, some of them might be good. We don't know, but I mean, I guess comedy routines are trying to be funny. I don't know. I'm just saying, if we watch some of them, then we might just be silent, just like, like. 
putting the hat down. I don't know. I haven't watched them. Some of them might be good. I don't know. I just Maybe. thought about doing it. Just random ones. Just pick random ones. Random, yeah. Like, just constantly and be like, I don't know. I don't know if we can get away with that without just getting absolutely crushed. Well, on, uh, you, on know, social media. Of, you know, because you know, I know, I like, agree. Brothers, mothers. Yeah, but I mean, you know, yeah, no, I get they, it. No, no I get it. You know, it, but, they're, but they're but they're watching this. It's like the guys. So, uh, so when we just first started doing this this YouTube stuff, um, it was a it was a while, and I didn't. All the subscribers I probably had from the very beginning were all probably uh, like people I knew, like yeah. fairly like. I could probably name you every single one of them. So if I had 200, I probably knew all 200 of them some way, some shape or form. And uh, and I was like, so for a couple videos, all thumbs up, you know? And I got my first th thumbs down video, you know, which I circled it and I was all proud of it. And then uh, the other day when uh, me and Jason were in that tournament and we caught back to back doubles, right? And I showed that video, it was a smaller video. I didn't show the whole video of the whole, of the whole tournament, but just, it was like an un, basically an uncut deal of us catching like five or six fish, two of them back to back doubles basically, and some guy thumbs down, and I was like, "All right, I'll I'll try to catch three on the crankbait next time. I'll try to go three. three. You know, I mean, I I don't know what else to do. I'm working. I'm trying, but I was like, it's always that guy going, I don't I don't like this at all. I don't like it so much that I'm going to put thumbs down on it. <laughs> well, you, you know, it's probably that one guy, and he probably forcibly pushed the thumbs I, I ain't going to lie. I've, I've re I was like, I think it's Andrew. I just really think <laughs> Andrew's getting on there, not watching it. Thumbs down. I could just see him going down every video, like, thumbs down, thumbs down. At least on one. Uh, At uh, least uh, just uh, one. Uh, yeah. God. Because you know that, they, like, it's actually, I would never do it because... YouTube actually looks at that and they like judge your like success on based yeah, on your really? videos. Oh yeah, oh, there's yeah. a whole algorithm built into if you get thumbs down, it's an, it negatively impacts your videos. Yeah, and so you know, not always bad press is good press. You know, same. Yeah, not really that. Like if you get negative. We're liable to have more thumbs down on this than anything. We might have more thumbs down than views. <laughs> 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 yeah, if that's possible. That'd be pretty good. Be pretty but yeah, I, we, I was like, you think we could do that, Home And Home was like, I, I, I was like, we can at least try it one time. And our editing process would just be like, okay, we've got to edit all of this stuff out. But it would, man, I think it would be, whole, God, it would be funny. It would be, I can already see a couple videos where we could do it and like, like guys we know, like a Luke Duncan. Oh, yeah. You know, well, like, yeah, yeah. We should definitely do a Luke Duncan. You know, there. like. <laughs> Dude, oh, okay, doing? we're doing that for sure on Luke's. Luke's oh, or by the way, Luke, we uh we want to use your music. Oh yeah, for our opening. So let me want to try this out. We'll yeah, yeah. Depth, we got to get Luke Duncan's video. Yeah, we'll watch what we it want, is. We want an intro. Golly, can we do the intro over on this? Can you edit that? Yeah, yeah. So let's do it. We definitely need to watch Luke Duncan. We got to pick one of Luke Duncan's videos and watch it, and then just just whatever we feel like doing. That's gonna be a good one. I like that idea. Yes, yeah. that's 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 a, that's a good one. It may be a Darian video. Darian would be good. That'd be an easy. That's one. too easy. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. All he's right, let's his, wrap this up. We got his, a natty to go got watch. Got his fake teeth now and his hair done and his short shorts. Hey, now. we got Scott fixing to wear a grill. Oh SMC. yeah, that's true. And an SMC chain. Yeah, oh, that's gonna be, be phenomenal. Good. good stuff. All right. I guess I missed. That. We're gonna have to take this live oh, yeah. too. I was just thinking while I was <clears> in the bathroom taking a, a pee. That uh, we should probably use our Instagram and our Facebook lives, which none of us ever do. Um, if something came up that Upshaw was going live, I think a couple people would watch it. So I think we should do one of these episodes on that to uh, promote uh, your new uh, idea that we've got here. Yeah. We could definitely do the Luke Duncan watching that. Oh my god. That'd be funny. Oh, it'd be good. We got it. All right. So we'll start. We'll start. Look for that on all. We're of just our throwing paint media. on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Like so, we'll start. And I don't know if we'll we'll do that for for Louisville okay. or whatever, we'll start kind of getting, make sure we got everything down and then we'll start like posting like, hey, we're gonna do it. Right. All three of us, we'll start figuring out what, how it's, how it's set up at Louisville, we'll start figuring out how we're gonna do it at the time and try to like do all that. Yeah, That one will be uh, good. We can't watch the video beforehand. So no, but we'll have to figure out, I don't know how we're gonna do this. We'll just have to randomly pick one. Yeah, it's gotta be a good one though. All right.
right. All right, let's let's close this up. I want to go watch the end of the yeah, national championship. Yeah, end of the game. Who's going to win? Clemson Who's or LSU? Win? LSU, dude. I'm picking Clemson. I am. I'm going Clemson as well. No, nah, LSU. I am. All right. All right. All right. We're yeah. out.